Hey guys, we are back with another video, baby. So I am back with paycheck number three budget and paycheck number four budget. So if you want to see how I budget, just keep on watching. So we're going to start with paycheck number three. Which was budgeted. I cannot spell today. Budgeted to be $740. However, it ended up being, paycheck ended up being $798.96, and there was a $200, let me see, $270. And uh, I think it was 56 cent unexpected income, which I am grateful for. So that is going to be let me see, $1,069.52. Now the expenses were rent and grass rent 675 and grass is $64 and with that uh, that was a total of 739 leaving a remaining balance of $330.52. And from that, we're going to do our cash envelopes. Which are groceries, my spend, Nick spend and dining out. Groceries is going to get 90, 40 for my spend, 40 for Nick spend, $35 for dining out. I'm going to make sure we keep a buffer in the account of $20.52. Um, now, rent, we pay in cash. Grass will come out of the account. But other than that, we don't really have many things coming out of the account this time. But uh, we do want to make sure that that's in there uh, because we do have $0.50 cents going to our savings account for each debit card transaction that we do. Um, and so we'll more than likely use the debit card for the first week of groceries since that's going to be before I take out money for my cash stuffing. Um, and then the other half of the groceries I'll take out in cash and we'll use cash next time. But uh, that buffer is just to cover any unexpected expenses. And then for sinking funds, we're going to have VET and taxes just going to put five dollars in the vet so we can get that started and then we'll put a hundred dollars in taxes uh, because i did have to zero that out since taxes were due on july 15th and um, i use that money to take care of that so if we take uh, the seven, let me see. Oh, hold on, I didn't add up these. So the cash envelopes is one one hundred and fifty five dollars. Um, so if I take the seven thirty nine plus the one fifty five plus the one o five plus the twenty fifty two, uh, that should total uh, the ten sixty ten sixty nine fifty two. 
So this is gonna be 19. Five and five is 10, that's gonna be, hold on. Yeah, five and five is 10, that's gonna be 11. Okay, so I'm adding something up wrong. Let's see, what am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong here? This is not 155, that's the issue. Uh, so that's gonna be five, let's see, so it's five, nine, 12. 12 and eight is 20. All right, my bad, so that's 205. All right, now that's a little better. All right, so that's still gonna be 19 and five and six. Seven and two is nine plus one is 10. All right, and then there is that matchup right there. So what I'll be taking out for sinking, well, what I'll be taking out of the account for our cash envelopes are gonna be uh, 105 for sinking funds and 45 for groceries. So that'll be 150 that I'll take out from Nick's check for our envelopes. Now, we move on to paycheck four. Was received today, this morning. I did budget $900 just because I did just recently restart my job and I got a raise. So I wasn't really too sure how much I was gonna get. Uh, sometimes my checks are 80 hours, sometimes they're 88 hours, sometimes they might even be 96 hours, depending on how the days fall, because I get paid on the 7th and 22nd of each month. Um, so if there's 15 to 16 days in between those paydays, um, then that's going to add on or take away a number of days. $900 will probably be around the amount that I make each payday but some months will be a little higher, which in this case I had 89 hours. So it was a little higher than I expected. Um, it was $1,006.35. And then I had $300 of unexpected income come in. Now these unexpected incomes will not come in every month. Um, my husband got a bonus and then I got a bonus as well. Um, which again doesn't happen often but we will definitely use it to our advantage uh, so that gives us a, a balance of 1306.35 and for expenses we have loan water gas electric car insurance credit card, and VIT. The loan is one twelve fifty. Water is 100. Gas, 75. Electric, 100. Insurance, 186.50. Credit card, I'm paying 75. And the VIT is 56.90. Um, and again, I forgot to write my tithes here, just 164 cents. And that's gonna give us a total of 806.54. And that's gonna leave us with a balance of 499.81. What we're gonna do is our cash envelopes. Which is gonna be gas, groceries, my spend, and Nick's spend. Gas, we're gonna do $30.00. $30. Food, we're going to do $45.81. And then my spend and Nick's spend. And that's going to be a total of $155.81. So if I take 
499.81 minus the 155.81. It's gonna leave me with $344. So what I'm gonna do is sinking funds. which is gonna be half of my car payment, savings, and vet. Half of my car payment is gonna be 181. I'm gonna put 160. in my savings and then we'll put three dollars towards the vet so uh, what that'll be is uh, with the vet since we're doing um an amount from nick's account as well five dollars that'll be a total of eight dollars for that and then um i'll get paid on the seventh i'll put the other half of my car payment and actually make my car payment on that date and i do make that payment in cash so it works perfectly for me to just pull that half out put in the envelope and then again um, this total here is gonna be $344 and I might just make this even uh, $345 you know I have the $20 buffer from Nick's account I'll, I'll probably just take a dollar from that just to make this a full uh, 345 that is actually what I'm gonna do so we're gonna do 345 right here and we'll just add a dollar to this total um, so then and then we'll put four dollars towards the vet and that'll make this 345 and now if I add the we'll just go up here if I add the 806 54 plus the 155 81 and the 345 should get 5 17 8 9 10 11 12 13 we'll get 1307 35 which is the total we have here you guys i'm sorry about the noise of course the trash truck decided to come right this second but that is all I have for you all today. I appreciate you so much for watching. And we'll just pause a minute to let them do their thing. All right, you guys, I really do appreciate you for taking time to watch. If you enjoyed this budgeting video, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you all think. Let me know what videos you wanna see, if there's more videos you wanna see than others, or if there is a video that you uh, suggest that I post as well. Just let me know and I'll be happy to do that for you all. I really do appreciate your time again. Have a blessed day. Bye.